I'm not going to sit here and tell Game Freak how to make a game, but at some point they've got to realize they're doing something wrong because for the second time in a row, they've accidentally leaked every single returning Pokemon for the upcoming Scarlet and Violet DLCs. It's a list of 223 Pokemon, so uh, buckle in, I guess. We're going to be going over all of them. First up is Generation 1. Obviously, the starters have been reintroduced to Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle and their evolutionary lines. These guys, along with most of the legendaries and starter Pokemon, have already been in the, in the game's code, so this isn't really a surprise. But starting with the actual new returning Pokemon is the Ekans evolutionary line, followed by the Sandtrue line, the Clefairy line, the Vulpix line, the Oddish line, the Poliwag line, the Bellsprout line, and interestingly they're actually bringing back Tentacool and Tentacruel, which are obviously the original counterparts to Toadskool and Toadscruel. And following those two is the Geodude line, the Doduo line, the Seal line, the Execute line, Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan, the Coughing line, Rhyhorn and Rhydon, the Horsey line, Electabuzz and Magmar, Lapras, Porygon and Snorlax. Those are the 50 Pokemon returning from Generation 1. Starting with Generation 2, we have the starters, the Chikorita line, the Cyndaquil line, and the Totodile line. Once again, no surprise here, but continuing on from that, we get the Sentret line, the Hoot Hoot line, and the Spinarak line. Following up is the Chinchu line, Cleffa, Blossom, Politoed, Apom, Yanma, Wooper, and Quagsire, who are already in the game, but I assume now they're going to be able to be caught, like in the wild. Gligar, the Snubble line, the Slugma line, Swine Up and Piloswine, Garmory, Kingdra, Porygon 2, Smeargle. That one's actually really interesting. Oh, wow. It's really funny because like every generation they have to ban an another move from Smeargle. This is going to be really interesting for, interesting for competitive, I think. I'm really, actually really excited for Smeargle. That's huge. Following on from that, we have Tyrogue, Hitmontop, Elekid, Magby. And those are all of the Johto Pokemon, but moving on to Generation 3, we have the Starters, Trico, Torchic, and Mudkip. Followed by the Poochiana line, the Lotad line, the Seedot line, Nosepass, Plusle and Minin, Volbeat and Illumise, the Trap Pinch line, the Corfish line, Feebas and Melotic, Duskull and Dusclops, Chimeco, and the Beldum line. We're about halfway through this list. This is taking a bit of time for me, but if you appreciate it, you can hit the subscribe button. I'm just, I'm just saying, I've got some really cool plans coming up, especially with the DLC just being announced, and I'd love to share them with you guys. Moving on to Generation 4, we start off with the starters, Turtwig, Chimchar, and Piplup. And weirdly enough, it moves straight onto the fossil Pokemon, Kranados, Rampardos, Shieldon, and Bastiodon, which is interesting because other fossil Pokemon, at least so far, like Aerodactyl, haven't been mentioned yet. Next up is Amberpom, Chingling, Munchlax, Rhyperia, Electivire, Magmortar, Yanmega, Gliscor, Mamoswine, Porygon Z, Probopass, Dusk Noir. Moving on now to Generation 5, interestingly, this doesn't start with the starter Pokemon. The only Unova starter we know is coming to the game is Oshawott because of Pokemon Legends Arceus, but the other two, Tepic and Snivy, are just they're not mentioned in this list at all. But even more interestingly, uh, the Gen 5 list starts with Blitzel and Zeb Streaker, two Pokemon that haven't been present on the Nintendo Switch yet. I, there are a few more Pokemon like that coming up soon. I, I, I did look through this list beforehand, but no, really cool for Pokemon collectors. Following up is the Drillba line, the Timber line, the Sawaddle line, which I'm really happy about because God, Lee Vanny is such a cool design. I don't know why they ever got rid of it. Uh, the Cottony line, the Scraggy line, the Mincino line, the Solosis line, the Ducklet line, the Joltic line, the Litwick line, which is actually really interesting because I think it's Montanavera has an archway that ha has like a lampant on it, I think, or something along those lines. So uh, I suppose this has been hinted at for a while. Following this up is the Mienfu line, the Golette line, Volibee and Mandibuzz, which is interesting because they're the counterpart to Braviary and Rufflet. The Generation 6 section is actually quite short. It doesn't include any of the starters either, but obviously we know Greninja's in the game. So I, I, I don't know what, what all that's about. I'm pretty sure all of the Gen 6 starters are in the game, like in the game's code. So I don't know at this point. But the Generation 6 section includes only six Pokemon, fittingly enough. Esper, Meowstic, Inke, Malamar, Phantom, and Trevon. Generation 7 starts with the starters Rowlet, Litten, and Poplio. Moves on to the Pikapek line, the Grubbin line, the Cutiefly line, the Dupida line, Comfy, and get ready for this, Minior, another Pokemon that's not yet been on the Switch. Following this is the pseudo-legendary line of Yangmo-O, Hakamo-O, and Komo-O. Once again, this, this list doesn't include the Generation 8 starters, but Obviously, Cinderace is in the game, but Generation 8 includes Cramorant, Milcery and Alchemy, Morpico, and Duraludon. And for the Pokemon introduced in Legends Arceus, there's Weirdeer, Cleavor, Ursaluna, Basculegion, Sneasler, Overquill, and Enamorous. And those are all the 223 Pokemon that were leaked by Game Freak. Not sure how they did that. Uh, if I were them, I simply wouldn't have done that, but who knows. 